The entire face of the planet has been completely changed in the last hundred years by human activity. Until the beginning of the last century, there were less than a billion humans. What changed? It's simple. We developed abilities to move large amounts of energy to do the things we need. We learned to harness the power of electrons moving, to reshape mountains, communicate and even move ourselves around. Electrons are about the tiniest things you'd ever imagine. How can controlling them and moving them lead to such dramatic effects? Well, let's take a closer look at what electricity actually is. Electricity is no more than a convenient way of moving energy from one place to another. It can be stored, channeled and used in countless ways. How did we figure this out? Well, it was a number of clever people, including Benjamin Franklin, Nikola Tesla, and Thomas Edison. One of the most influential workers in this field was George Simon Ohm. He was a schoolteacher who figured out that there is actually a very important relationship between the voltage applied to a conductor and how much current flowed. He found that the more voltage or potential difference he applied, the more the current would flow. They were directly proportional. Not all substances had the same ratio of voltage to current, however. He called this resistance. So voltage pushes the charge shown as amps through, while resistance controls the rate at which current could flow through. The three are always in a relationship. If the voltage pushed harder but the resistance stayed the same, more current would flow. If the current had to stay the same but the resistance was increased, the voltage would also have to work harder to keep the current flowing at the same rate. Ohm drew a graph of voltage and current and found them to have a gradient equal, depending on the substance. That's what we call resistance. The change in the voltage over the change in current gives us an equation for working out resistance. In fact, we even give the units of measurement Ohm's name. Like Ohm, we use the Greek symbol omega to represent it, though. So, how did we go from this to this? The answer is by controlling the voltage and current in wires leading to motors inside this incredible car. You might think it's futuristic, but some countries have actually passed laws saying that no petrol engine cars can be sold after 2030. That means electric cars will finally lead the way.